Hello guys, this is Flutterflies here, and this is going to be the first fireside session where we sit here by the fire and read books. Today's book is going to be Print, uh, Spit White and the Seven Lords by Piku Lintume. Once upon a time, a pretty, pretty prince named Prince Spid lived in a beautiful castle. Unfortunately, the queen, Queen Shay, was very jealous of Spid's great beauty. Every day, she would go to her magic mirror and say, Magic mirror on the wall? Who's the sexiest of them all? And the mirror would always reply, Um, this is really awkward, but it's totally not you. It's actually Prince Spid. This made Shay super sad and mad. So she called to her throne room the Royal Huntsman, who was known as Electricity Man. Hey, Electricity Man! I need you to take Spid deep, deep into the grove and totally murder him and bring me his heart so I can eat it. Uh, okay. Said Electricity Man, kind of feeling grossed out at the queen, but whatever, she paid his wages and shit. So he went up to Spid and was like, hey mate, wanna go see the grove with me? Spid said okay, and off they went. Once they were in the grove, Electricity Man said to Spid, um, I was totally supposed to kill you, but um, I legit just removed your immortal. So it would, you should probably just run, or you'll be evicted back to West Philly. Spid was shocked to learn that the queen didn't love him like all the other ladies did. Thank you, Steve. I mean, electricity man. He said as he ran off into the distance. Electricity man slaughtered a peasant in Spid's, in Spid's place and took their heart back to the queen, as well as the peasant dressed as a cat because the queen loves that shit. The queen totally bought it and ate the peasant heart and laughed for fucking days at the cat peasant. Meanwhile, Spit had been running for like ages. He was starting to get tired because he never really had to exercise. He was just naturally really pretty. Eventually, he came across a large cottage. He knocked at the door. But there was no answer, so he pushed the door open. I mean, who wouldn't love to see me here? <laughs> he laughed to himself as he strode in. After exploring, he found a room with seven beds and Dude, I'm tired and like, who wouldn't love to find me in their bed? Wink! He said to himself as he fell the fuck to sleep across the beds. Meanwhile, while he was sleeping, the owners of the cottage came home. Spid woke up to see seven men looking down at him. OMG what? Asked the startled prince. Dude, you're totally in our beds. Like, dude, that's weird, said one of the men. Yeah, who the fuck are you, mate? Asked another. Oh, um... Hi, I'm Prince Spid, said Spid, implying his best smexy smaller. I know you guys don't mind, but I'm hiding from the queen. She wanted to do gross stuff to me. Oh, that's cool, mate, said a man. The queen is hella scary. We getcha. Then one by one, the men introduced themselves. Pooz, Willie, Roman, Justin, Deadbones, Co-Star, and Nissavin. Why couldn't you have cute names that reflect your personalities? Asked Spid. Because fuck you, mate, that's why, said Poos, the head of the group. Look, if you want to stay, you gotta pull your weight, okay? Okay. The next morning, the dwarves, because that's what they are, I forgot to say. They are also lords, so yeah. Left to go to work doing whatever dwarf lords do. Spid looked around the cottage, trying to find a way to keep busy. La 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 la, he sang as he walked around. La la di la di la. Suddenly, a fucking bear appeared at the window. The fuck! Shattered Spit in, so in shock. I'm a fucking bear, mate, said the bear. But you can call me Kyle. The bear led himself into the cottage. What do you need help with, mate? Kyle asked. Um, what? Spid was so confused. You sang, I turned up, Kyle replied. Turned up for what? Spid was still super confused. Jesus sage Christ on a bike, matey! Do you want help or nah? Um, well, can you clean up the cottage? Can, mate! And then Kyle started cleaning the cottage by eating all the garbage. Back in the castle. Queen Shay was super happy that Spid was dead, so she went to the magic mirror for some compliments. Magic mare? Am I the sexiest in all the land now? Oh, wow. This is still, like, really awkward, but no. 
Spit isn't dead, my queen, and he's still technically in the land, so yeah, Saz, the mirror answered. The queen was so super mad at this, she went to get some magic from somewhere. She t then she turned herself into an ugly-looking peasant and flew off to find Spid. Spid was hanging out with the lords and Kyle the bear, who had started to hang out with them for, like, no reason. They just liked hanging out with the bear, and who needs an excuse for that? Over breakfast. Man, I can't believe the queen hasn't tried to find me yet, laughed Spid. The lords and the bear laughed their agreement before heading out to work and to do bear stuff. Spid was annoyed that he'd been left to clean up, but whatever. Soon, he heard a knock at the door. Hello, I'm Mason, 97M. A humble peasant and totally not the queen in disguise, said the really ugly peasant. Um, hi, said Spid. He usually didn't talk to ugly peasants, but charity, right? Would you like to buy a bottle of this drink? Asked the peasant. Definitely won't poison you. Okay, said the prince and chugged the whole fucking bottle of weird purplish pink liquid. He fell to the floor, poisoned. When the lords and bear came home, they found the prince collapsed and not breathing. So obviously they assumed he was dead, even though there were no ghosts, but whatever. So they built him a glass coffin and were all sad and shit. And then one day, a really pretty peasant came walking by. She was still known by her district, but had not really been noticed by the lords. They were grieving and were about to kill her for snooping, but she shouted, WAIT! I KNOW WHAT TO DO! The lords were confused. What? I think I know how to save the prince! It is true love's kiss! And she pushed the lords aside. Usually a stupid move, but they were upset and confused, so... And leant over the prince. She tenderly kissed the prince's cold lips for a moment. Nothing happened. The lords were about to fucking smite her, but then... Spid started kissing her back. Thank you for awakening me, fair maiden. May I inquire your name? I'm a peasant, Pingu of Brooklyn, she replied. I know true love's kiss would work. Nah, sorry darling. I'm actually immortal, so I can't die. I just wondered if this tragedy would help get me laid. Apparently it did. Ah, said Lord Deadbones. The queen really needs to remember the lords are immortal and can't die. Oh, Pingu said sadly. That's okay, said the, oh. That's okay, said the prince, draping an arm around Pingu's shoulders. You can be true enough for tonight. Wink! The end. Thank you for watching. Have a nice night.